Bam, 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 Dragon Ball Z. This is not Vegeta. It isn't. You're right. It's Goku. Yay. All right. Yay. Another Goku figure. No surprise here, guys. <laughs> It's another Goku figure. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffilis, and today I have my wife here who is joining us. Hello. Yes, and we're going to be looking at not a 112 scale. <gasps> I'm, I'm doing a figure that isn't 112 scale. What is wrong with me? That's right. We're doing 19 scale. Imagination works Goku here, and you can pick this guy at... DStarToys.com. So you can get it at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. He's going for 120. So, is this worth it? We're going to find out today. We're going to look at paint in detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. And this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go to the top cam. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends, please. We will start a clan. Sponsor me. Is this like the beach episode? No, where this. We do something that. <laughs> the beach episode is pointless. Oh, Janelle. Whoa. Whoa. Can I just say this kind of shocked me? He actually looks really, really good. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Let's let's go to the front cam. This this really shut me up right now. Like jokes aside. Light even turned off. They they were just like they they Whoa. had enough. Whoa. Oh yeah. Hold on. We need to turn this on. All right, guys. Sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties on Twitch.tv forward slash DStar01. So no audience, no Janelle, just me. Let's get into the paint and detail of the Imagination Works Goku. So I've had this guy for a couple of days. I played with him. I kind of have a better understanding of. Imagination Works Goku here. So first and foremost, let's look at the paint detail and everything like that. Looks really, really solid. Look at the face sculpt. It looks just like Goku from Jump Force. And of course, the hair looking fantastic. You can almost see the individual, well not individual strands, but it looks like they put some details into the hair, so it looks really solid right there. The skin tone, very well painted. Looks really nice, very accurate. Um, the thing with the muscles though, if you thought that this figure was all going to be soft, no, it's just the arms that are soft. The uh, bicep, tricep, and, uh, and the forearm are a soft, bouncy um, type plastic rubber. Uh, everything else is a rigid plastic, so if you're thinking everything is soft on this guy, that is not the case. Um, so let's look at the pants right here. That texture goes all the way through to the pants, so it looks really nice, feels really solid, and of course the boots are well painted. Everything is looking really really great on this figure. I have to say when I first saw him I said yeah he looks alright but then pulling him out of the box I was like whoa this figure looks really really good but he does have a problem so let's walk right into that which is the articulation part and then we're gonna jump we're jumping into articulation and scale so first before we jump into the problem let's see how tall this guy is standing he is standing at about eight inches and we gotta compare him with other action figures. Clearly I don't have anything in this scale but we do have SH figure at UI sign Goku. As you can see, this Goku is really big in comparison. You can't really fit him with anything, not even with the Mafex Deadpool. No, that is not going to work. And if you're thinking Marvel Legends, no, sir, that's not going to work. So this guy is pretty tall. But if you were thinking, hey, does he work with Play Arts Kai? And I believe someone on Twitch asked that question. I think it was our good friend Ricky. And uh, no, this does not work. As you can see, Cloud is just way too big, and Goku's just way too small, so in all honesty, it seems like nothing in my collection seems to be fitting with this guy. Maybe we can look at the top cam. Here's one figure that kind of does, is the uh, Marvel Legends Juggernaut. So, I don't know. This is a really tough one. Nothing really fits, which is why I tend to just collect everything in the 112 scale, because everything seems to fit and work really well together. When you buy this figure, you are jumping out of scale with most of your SH figure arts, which could be a problem. But you know what? As a standalone Goku figure, he's not bad. But we're going to go into that conclusion after we come up 
uh, with articulation and then accessories. But first, let's see the main issue of this guy. This is it right here. I'm just going to tell you right now. Boom. Look at that sidekick. That is not going to happen. That articulation just isn't there. This is as far as he's going to go. No sidekicking action whatsoever. This is elementary, people. This has to happen in an action figure. Almost every action figure has a sidekick. Look at that Marvel Legends. Look at this Mafex. Look at this SH Figure Arts. All sidekick. This, this isn't good. You are limiting a lot of your articulation by not having it. But he does have everything else. So let's look at everything else. We have a toe joint right here. We have an up and down at the ankle. Double jointed knee. Again with those uh, hip joints right there at the crotch. We do have one rotating joint at the waist. We do have butterfly joints right there so he can hug himself. And we do have a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow right there. Ball and peg here at the wrist and two at the neck. Looking to be well above 20 ports of articulation. He can do a lot of poses still. He can do kamehamehas. He can do front kicks, he can do flying knees, he can do flying uppercuts, and maybe a double hand right here, pow, something like that. Um, and he can kind of do the superhero landing pose. Let's see if we can get him to do that as his hair fell off. And not, not as much, <laughs> not as much, just because he's missing those hip joints, which is the biggest issue of this guy. So. Enough of that, let's look at accessories. Let's go to the top cam, let's see what we're looking at here. We do have a Super Saiyan head. We have a whole mess of faces and hands right here. We have eight extra hands. We get four extra eyes. I'm gonna show you what those do. Here's, actually no, I take that back. We have five, let's see, how many do we have total? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six eye pieces, which is all you need. And we have a stand right here. So let's go to the front cam. I'll show you what I mean with these eyes. So these eyes, which we will look at at the end of the video, we have a side looking one, which you can replace very easily. I'll show you real quick. So here is a, ah, nightmare fuel. <laughs> Not Super Saiyan right there. And the eyes go right in. And then you can replace it with the head right here. So let's remove this. Just like an SH figure arts, you just plug and play. And there you have it. There is the side looking Goku. Easy, side looking Goku. Easy as that. Now let's get the Super Saiyan hair in. And there you have it. That looks really cool. I love the fact that you get Super Saiyan hair. All Goku should come with a Super Saiyan head and or powered down head. Just so you can get the most value. But sadly, they don't do that. <laughs> so there you have it. There's Super Saiyan head. There's the uh, powered down head. And then let's look at the other eyes real quick. So here you have another two side looking ones for the Super Saiyan head and then uh, powered down just looking slightly to the right. So you get a right, left for both Super Saiyan and powered down and then you get a straight looking one for powered down and Super Saiyan. And last but not least, we will look at the hands at the end, but here is the stand and there he is with the stand. So you can get this guy looking really good on your desk. Honestly, you don't really need that stand because he stands really well. He's really balanced and everything like that. So let's come to the conclusion of the Imagination Works. Goku, would I recommend this figure for the looks, for limited posability? If you don't mind the limited posability, I have to say this guy looks really solid. I really like the way he's detailed. I really like the way he's look. I love that every he comes with pretty much everything you need in terms of hands and face plates and eyes and everything like that. Maybe a Kamehameha effect would have been nice. But the biggest negative, I'd have to say, oh my gosh, these joints, awful. Imagination Works really needs to work on these joints. They should have came, he should have came with the side, uh, side kicking. That, was, that should have been it. There should have been the ability to do that, but this guy does not have it. Hopefully the Imagination Works Vegito when he comes out, will have it. Hopefully they learn a lesson. Hopefully they listen to us and say, oh wow, that's not good. We really needed to make this guy super articulated and that is very limiting. And that is my biggest issue of this figure. But besides that, I gotta say he looks really good. He looks so good. I love the way he looks on my desk. Even though he's a little bit bigger, I usually don't collect things in, in a bigger scale than 112. But I have to say, he does look fantastic. And honestly, just having him stand there on my desk looks really, really good. 
Anyway, guys, that's my assessment of the Imagination Works Goku. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can pick this guy at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.